Take a look at this view, guys. Hey there guys, Balatorial here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to spice up your thumb rollover. So, holy shit, that scared the absolute... Alright, so that cat completely threw me off guard and uh, kind of forgot to introduce the video. Basically, I'm going to show you guys some variations that you can practice. Then I'm going to show you guys some tips and drills. And uh, that's going to be the video for today. Let's get right into it. All right, so if you've just learned how to do a thumb rollover, it might be looking something like this. And uh, you might just be wanting to make it a bit fancier. And for that, I have two tricks. The first one being a handle switch like this. Nothing fancy, pretty easy really, slowly like that. And uh, this handle switch basically puts you in a position where you can go from here to being ready to throw the thumb rollover. So right after this handle switch, I like to add another trick, which is called a whip. Uh, looks like that that's a whip rollover but basically after the handle switch you're gonna go down here and you're gonna throw it on the underneath you're gonna kind of throw it underneath and you're not gonna go over your thumb you're gonna go under your thumb and then once you go under you're gonna see the handle coming up here you're gonna let that go over your thumb and do your normal rollover so again to summarize go from here handle switch into here throw it under and back over your thumb so one more time like that down and over your thumb yeah i'll add in some slow-mos here and uh, that was the beginner part if you're looking to progress your flipping further so you know how to do a rollover you should look into reverse rollover so it looks like that basically you just do the opposite of a rollover so if you already know how to do a rollover just reverse the steps and you have a reverse rollover in the same category as reverse rollovers i would say that would have been a cut right there good thing it's a trainer in the same category as reverse rollovers you're going to want to practice zero g rollovers so um, rollovers that are like here so say here we're flipping right there that's a zero g right there like my hand is kind of upside down you'd say like if a normal rollover is up here like this my hand is upside down when i'm doing the other one so like that yeah once you've got the reverse rollovers and kind of like zero g's down you're gonna start to practice like open rolls i think these are really fun and they're not really that much harder but they're also not that useful in normal tricks so i'd say learn the zero g's learn the reverse rolls and then start practicing that Alrighty, so one of the most important like tips and drills you're going to do for this is uh, a reverse or like a standard roll to a reverse roll looking like this so you just do this back and forth and l don't let the blade hit your finger. So just find a balance where it doesn't hit your finger and uh, keep practicing that back and forth. If you're having trouble with the handle switch, you can do this like all the time. Like I, I used to do this, 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 so that you can like drill that in, really get the muscle memory. And uh, my final tip is probably just make it fun. If you're having fun, you're gonna make variations, you're gonna enjoy the experience and you're gonna progress a lot faster than if you're just like making yourself do stuff that you don't like. That's kind of obvious, but a lot of people fail that. So yeah, enjoy flipping, make it fun, and uh, let's head to the outro. As always guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, tell me what you guys want to see next. Like I really do read the comments and I pay attention to what you guys want. I'm working on some more advanced stuff now, but I do know that most of my viewers are beginners. So I am trying to curate some content for you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. See you guys in the next one.